Hey guys, what's up? Top Shelf Technology here. So in this video, I'm going to show you about six uh, one-liners that you can use in Python. So let's get started. Okay, so imagine I have a string. So let's make a little string here. So I have a string that says ABC. Now, what I want to do is I want to unpack this string into a bunch of characters, right? So I want to unpack this into a list of characters. Now, to do this, we can use this handy feature called iterable unpacking, which just works like this. We pass a star or we put a star at the beginning of the string, and then we wrap the string in a list like this, hit enter, and as you can see, Python just magically converted this string into a list of characters. Perfect. Okay, next up. Another very powerful trick is removing duplicate elements from a list. So for example, what we can do is we can say, let's say I have a list that has, let's say, the element 1, and then element 1, and then an element 2. What I can do here is I can pass this into a set like this. And as you can see, when we convert this list into a set, it basically gets rid of all of the duplicate elements inside of this list. Now, what we want now is we want to convert back into a list. And to do that, we can just put a star back here and then wrap this in square brackets like this, just like before, hit enter. And as you can see, we went from having this list here with a couple of, or just one duplicate element here to having a set that's completely unique or should I say a list that's completely unique. Okay, perfect. So if you ever have two lists and let's call them list A and list B. So I'm gonna define list A and list A is gonna have the numbers one, two, and three. And then I'm gonna have list B and this is gonna have the numbers three, four, and five. And what I wanna do here is I wanna find all of the elements in these two lists that are common to them. So the two uh, the elements that are both in A and in B. If you want to get the elements that are common to the two lists, we can do something like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna convert A into a list. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this special um, operator for sets, which is the intersection operator like this with an ampersand. And then I'm gonna get set B. And when I hit enter, as you can see, what this does is it basically gives us all of the elements that are in both A and B. So the only thing that's both in A and B is the three. And because of that, we get back a three. Now, this is this is not exactly what we want. We want a list, not a set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this in parentheses like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to unpack this and I'm going to unpack this into a list. And as you can see, what we get back is we get... Uh, list that has the element three inside of it. Perfect. Okay, so if you ever needed to zip two lists together, but you weren't really sure if their lengths would match, you can use the zip longest function, which is defined in the iter tools module. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import iter tools, and since um, my screen is a little small, I'm going to call it something else, such as it maybe. Okay, awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say it dot zip longest and what i'm going to do here is i'm going to pass in two lists so maybe i should define the list because uh screen real estate is a little smaller anyways so i'm going to define the list a i'm going to put one two and three here i'm going to define list b and i'm going to just put one okay awesome now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to call it dot zip longest and i'm going to pass in a i'm going to pass in b and I'm going to pass in a third. So I'm going to pass in a third argument, and this is going to be fill value. And what I'm telling this function to do is if it ever runs out of um, items in one of the one, if this function ever runs out of items in one of the two lists, it's going to fill them with this value. So I'm going to fill it with, let's say, a zero. Let's close this and we get back. Uh, okay, so basically we just got back uh, iterators. So to actually uh, do something useful with this, I'm going to assign it to X and let's unpack this iterator. So I'm going to say something like this. And as you can see, we got one and one, and then we got two and zero, and then three and zero. And again, this is because if we check A, A has the elements one, two, and three, B has the elements one. So it zipped one and one together, but 
it didn't have any more elements for two and three, so it just filled them with the zero. Okay, so this one is an easy one, but in case you don't know, you can run an if statement on one line like this. So let's say I have, I don't know, like values A is equal to, let's say five, and then B is equal to six. Uh, what I can do is I can run an if statement like on one line, so like this, I can say ants is equal to, let's say yes, if A is greater than B, else return no and let's check ants and as you can see we got yes that's kind of simple but in case you didn't know i think it's a good practice to know it okay so the next thing i want to show you is that you can actually grab the first and the last element from a list like this so i can say a and let's uh, do um a star. I really like this star operator that they added to Python. It, it's really useful for these one-liners. Okay, and then we do an underscore. Actually, I've got to do a comma here, but yeah, I did an underscore here. And then let's do B. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign it to this list. And this list is just going to have the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Hit enter. And then if we check A, as you can see, A got the first element from this list. And then B got the last element from this list. And if we check the underscore, as you can see, we got two, three, and four. So these are the rest of the elements. So if you ever need to get the first and the last element, you can do something like this. Okay, so that's enough for today. So if you enjoyed this video, remember to give me a like and subscribe, and I will see you later.